I think the SNP think it's superb, but people hate the SNP. Well, people will always hate any political party, but obviously 57% of Scots want independence. So there you go. But if you're not for Aberdeen, they'll no like you. Alan, if you're not for Aberdeen, that would be a bonus. Yes? They loved me, and I wasn't for Aberdeen. Campbell's lying. All parties are false. Right. Well, we need to make them real. So maybe I, I'm apolitical. You're looking beautiful today. Oh, you say the nicest things, SDR. What's your favorite sport? Well, I was a rugby man. And I also did rowing. And I put rowing on my CV. And somebody thought it was rowing. I liked rowing with everybody. I tell you, Scotland are more EU than Scottish, French, Macron. Uh, well, Scots, the old alliance with the French, going back to the 1740s. Have you tried to go into politics? No, no, but I've been invited to go into politics many a time. But I've never tried because somebody said to me, a journalist, a top journalist from one of the big newspapers, uh, there was a rumour going round that I was going to stand for a by-election. And uh, this top journalist phoned me and she said to me, will you give me the exclusive on it, Scotty? I said, yes, all right then. And she said, and can you be serious? And I said, now, why did you say that? Because I can be very serious if I have to. And uh, I said, why did you say that? She said, because there's every chance you will get elected. Running up and down the stairs of the high flats, knocking the doors and saying, vote for Scotty McClure. Uh, Dick, you do Scotty McClure from Sunny Kelty in Fife. I can Kelty just during the break there and to your left. Uh, the most scenic mountains are in Scotland. Glencoe, Ben Nevis, the Three Sisters. What about the Isleden Hills in the borders? What about Berwick Law? Uh, yes, indeed. What about Misty Law? Uh, good evening, Lord Duke of Dundee. Guys, this is a wonderful guy called Onion Baji. And Onion Baji is in Australia, down under, watching Scotty McClue right now. Is that not beautiful? Um, who else have we got here? The Temptation Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Tony's just joined us. The temptation is laughing his heat off. And why not, I say. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on TikTok just for you. This is the big one. Everybody with a TikTok account, get following now. And also get on to my YouTube channel. You'll see the URL up in the bio. Good day, McClure. Good day, Yoshi. Lovely to have you with us, fair dinkum. There's only one Scotty McClure. One Scotty McClure. Hello, Winston. Hello. We shall fight them on the beaches. We shall never, ever give in. Uh, lend us a mill while I win the lotto. Right now, there is an old mill. It's a wee bit run down. But I could probably lend you that and you could mill some flour. Okay. Up the dons, stand free. Stand free. Stand free, the dons. When I was up in Aberdeen, Alex Ferguson was the manager 40 years ago this year. Richard Tan is so kind to me. He's giving me red roses. I could see you in Aldi last week. Well, I'll admit to that one. I was in Aldi last week. Uh, oh, just on an advert for Aldi. Oh, uh, they're open all day. Uh, you're brilliant. I thank you, Sam. So are you. Yes, uh, top, top person. We shall not be moved. Glasgow Rangers are the champions. No, no. Glasgow has two top football teams. Whoa, hat and mustache. Glasgow's got two top football teams. You've got the Rangers. And is it the Rangers Reserves? 
and see what I just did there. Uh, Celtic, Celtic. Glasgow Celtics forever. Yes, hail, hail, I say to you. Are you going to work today? Sophs, I go to work every day. Yes, there we go. Off to work for McClue. It's my grand's 105th birthday today. A shout out to Edith. Edith, we love you. And we love your 105 years. They say the 105 years, the first 105 years of the toughest. And now it's time for you to put your feet up. There we are. And mourn the jazz. Can you see us? The Rangers. Uh, Mr. Loli and Cap. Uh, what was your first job? My first job was as the cabin boy on the boats, aged 12. And I used to, it was quite a, a big job for a wee one. And I loved every second of it. And you didn't bother about all that health and safety stuff. And you could work when you're 12. It was a Saturday job. And they used to put the bow of the big boat into the ladder. And I would up the ladder with a rope like a wee monkey. Loved every second of it. I got to help start the big diesel engine. Oh, how much is that? How many 12-year-olds had that privilege? And I got five shillings, two half crowns. My mum and dad gave me a sixpence, two and a half P. And I suddenly went from two and a half P to 25 P, pocket money. My first job was washing the dishes at the Turnberry Hotel. I've done that. I did it quite recently. A friend of mine had a big country house hotel and he was needing staff. He said, are you busy at the moment? I said, what do you want? He said, could you dishwash? I said, oh, could I dishwash? So I was in as pot boy. Uh, the Ayatollah, Fidel Castro, uh, Hugo Church, Scotty McClure, Moby Dick. You missed out our, our wee guy. Shea Guevara. Remember Shea? Uh, have you got your Scottish Cup quarterfinal tickets for the mighty Greenock Morton v Hearts? Bobby from Bears Den. That sounds like a very, very big game. I could book back. My old friend used to do the commentaries for Morton. Good afternoon. Welcome to Capelo Park. Uh, yes, indeed. Fantastic. We loved it. Wonderful players in those days. Uh, we had a marvellous man called Eric Sorensen was one of our players. Tremendous stuff. Uh, follow us as soon as you can, guys. Think he do. And uh, my first job was in an ice cream van. Well, I drove the baker's van. Loved all that. Guys, has everybody followed, shared, watched all the videos? We need another 100 followers right now. Um, what have we got here? Oh, there's Moby, Moby Dick. Yes, awful condition. Oh, God, I love a mince and scurly pie. Oh, God, do you? Yes, it's actually just Scotty McClue, but thank you for the promotion. There we are. Do you remember Arthur Montford, Scotty? Cyberspace, Arthur was a personal friend. And uh, we used to go to dinners together. And he was the loveliest, loveliest man. Beautifully, beautifully mannered and always had time for other people. Just a lovely man. Who are you? I'm Scotty McClue. Who are you? Yes, more to the point. What a nice man. Lovely guy. Sure was a cyberspace, yes. And I worked with Arthur when I worked at Scottish Television. We used to, you know, have chats and... Oh, it was just marvellous. Uh, so there you are, Dinky Doo. Thank you very much for that, Nika. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Dinky Doo. Good morning, Dinky Doo. Have you been drinking today, mate? Yes, I have. I've already had a whole glass of Scottish water, and I'm going to have another one. I drink every day two litres of water. And a little bit of salt. So, yes, in answer to your question, Sean, I have been drinking. Um, Dinky do, thank you very much. Sofs. Uh, guys, as soon as you can, get following. We're tight for time, but I need followers, followers, followers. 
share, share, share as much as you can and tell all your friends. 